Hey YouTube, today our tutorial focuses on the HP NVM4 model number 1115DX. Uh, today I'm going to be showing how to get rid of the boot device not found error, error 3F0 on the HP. Uh, this happened to me as soon as I switched out my 1TB hard drive into a solid state drive and it would not boot. So what you want to do is you want to restart your computer and keep pressing escape since I have a solid state drive it's going to boot really fast so alright once you get into this menu right here what you want to do is you want to press on bios setup for me it is F10 once you're on here you want to move to the right two spaces and you will see boot options you want to go down on that press on that now when you have your original hard drive in there it is gonna have a legacy support that will be blue so you are able to enable it uh, before I uh, before I enabled it and I put in my solid state it was not blue it was grayed out so I could not enable it so what I had to do was put back in the original hard drive and enable it. What that does is it opens up this bottom section right there and I moved up with F6 I moved up the eternal CD-ROM to the first one so what that did was it would be able to boot off of my Windows 7 CD and then from there on I went on to installing Windows 7 onto my solid state drive and now it works perfectly fine. And after you're done you want to press F10 press yes and you should you should be able to boot hope this helps